Okay, so this is the first class in circuits when we talk about voltage drops. And the main thing that I um, talk about is, let's say you want to know the voltage drop between a point X and Y in any circuit. That means it's the voltage at X minus the voltage at Y. We're going to use that principle here. And Vx then is our, is our positive side if we had a multimeter. And Vy is just for this equation here, our negative side. And we're going to use this. In this case, um, we already know that this here is measuring minus 10 in relationship to ground. And you see the circuit doesn't have even ground. I don't know where they are measuring it in relation to you know which node. But this node is minus 10. And now I want to find VA. And when there's just VA, that means really VA means VA minus zero minus, yeah, I'm just going to write here. And this zero is ground, um, which means if I had two volts of VA, that means two volts minus zero is two. So that is how this minus 10 comes to be. So let's uh, try to find a VA. And all I know is this first equation here, it turns out. So I'm going to say VA minus that minus 10 will be um, that difference will be now between these two nodes will be the VA, the positive side, which I'm going to find a positive here. I'm going to write 8. And then this V1, it's again plus V1. And then I'm going to go down here. Now I'm going to find a minus. And then I'm going to copy this minus 4. This is the way to do the math. Let's say I'm not sure it's math. Um, and up here it says V1 is 3 volts. So instead of V1, I'm going to write now 3 volts. 8 plus 3 plus 4. So VA plus 10 is 15 volts. So VA is 5 volts. This is um, the answer. We're going to do the same thing with VB. So if I go on this um, on this circuit and I say VB is my positive and VA and this one is my negative, I'm going to think of this as VB minus that minus 10 volts there. And this on the other hand will be, I'm going to start on the positive side. Now it's my VB, VB is positive. I'm going to say V1 minus minus 4. V1 minus minus 4. And I know that V1 is 3. So this will be 7. So VB is 7 minus 10, which is minus 3 volts. Finally, VC. Now VC is down here. So from VC, I could say VCA now that I have A. So I'm going to say VCA equals VC minus VA. And so I know VA which is 5. So VC minus 5. And I'm going to do the math, which is from here. This resistor um, has no voltage drop across it because the current through here is 0. So because V equals IR and I is 0, voltage is 0. But there is V2 there. V2. And now there's a minus. So this is a battery. This side is the plus, this side is the minus. I'm going to say, my, oopsie, minus 5. I'm going to copy this 5. Now remember, I'm going to A. So I'm going to say minus V1, minus 8. So VC minus 5 is, I'm going to do V2 is minus 2. Minus 2, minus 5, minus 3. Minus 8, a ton of minuses there. So VC minus 5 is minus 18 volts. And therefore VC is minus 13 volts. I hope that clarifies how to go about this circuit here.